Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we're joined by Patrick Adair. Of Hello. Patrick Adair Designs. It's great to have you here. Hey, happy to be here. I love love the shop. You make rings. I do. On I YouTube. Rings. Yep. And in real life. In real life, I do it in my shop, in real life, and I post it to YouTube. That's phenomenal. Amazing. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking some quarters and making some stock for a ring. This is going to be really fun. We're going to be doing Damascus or Makume Gane out of quarters. It's going to be a great challenge. We're thrilled to have you here. And we also want to thank today's sponsor, which is Trade Coffee. The coffee I'm drinking today is Paradigm by Metric Coffee. Trade Coffee is all about giving you the best coffee possible. They partner with 50 of the nation's best coffee roasters to give you a choice of over 400 coffees at the best price imaginable. One of my favorite things is waking up in the morning in my dreary haze and heading on over to my French press, turning on the kettle and pouring myself a good cup of coffee. It's a great way to start the day and put my brain into gear that it's the beginning of a new day and it's time to have a great one. With Trade, you can take a quiz to find the coffees that are gonna most match your preferences. And of course, all the coffee is roasted to order, guaranteeing you have the freshest coffee possible. The first 100 of you to click the link in the description are going to be getting 30% off your first coffee with them. So check them out. Thank you, Trade, for sponsoring the video and getting us all some great coffee. Let's jump back in. So how are we going to do this, Will? I think we need to get some quarters before we can use quarters to make things. And the best way to get quarters is to go to the bank to get the quarters. You know what I think? What's that? I think you can just take that to the bank. I think that sounds about right. We got quarters. Quarters. We got a cookie. I got a sandwich. Let's make some... We have two stacks of quarters, and they're roughly the same size. Hey, Alec, those are looking a little bit light. There, there we go. Oh, wow. There's Thank you, Will. Yep, that needs to go in there. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's very good. Um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be TIG welding these together. We're going to clamp them, run a TIG line down four sides, and then we're going to get to sticking these pieces together. Alright, let's throw these in the heat treating oven. So it's been in the oven there for a while. Uh, the next step is to take it out and give it a whack. Well, that's a quite a nice hammer you've got there, Alex. This is an awfully nice hammer, and it is brand new, <laughs> in fact. And so we're gonna take a little aside as we get ready to take this hot metal out of the fire to show you some clips from a couple of days ago when our batch of hammers came in, because that's right, we have some beautiful hammers that we're getting ready to put up for sale for you guys. This is pretty exciting. The first delivery for the new shop. No, no, no. The dreaded Canadian Robertson head screw. Not again. Fortunately, somebody actually sent me this set exactly because we didn't have these crazy bits. Let's go unbox our hammers. Here we go! Oh, oh my god! god. No, no, they look amazing! Industrial reinforced tape. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That is a tape wetting and cutting machine. We have digital scales. This is just so exciting. What's exciting is all of this cardboard and packaging supplies and VCL rust inhibiting paper. It screams the road ahead, which is getting cool products. 
to all of you people. It screams packaging things well. It screams taking care of the nice tools that we're gonna be sending out by stopping them from rusting. It's also really exciting because we get to see the back end of what drives so much of the world now, which is packaging and shipping, like these silica gel pouches. Well, you spend a whole, eat these? you're not supposed to eat them, <laughs> but you spend your whole life seeing these in packages and wondering like, what's that actually doing? Well, what this does, it absorbs moisture. This here is a paper tape dispenser. You get to push out however much tape you want. It's wetted, and this is how you package the best boxes with paper tape. This stuff is reinforced. It is so much better than tape on a roll. This is why anytime you buy something from Amazon, it comes with this type of tape instead of the stuff that makes this noise. Woo! Why are packaging supplies so exciting? We have all our hammers, made some progress on sorting them by weight, getting them ready to put on the shelves. It's what dreams are made of. Okie dokie. So Patrick, yeah. I'll do one. Do you want to do the next one? Let's do it. I might ruin it. That's fine. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Will's gonna open the door, I'm gonna get in, grab the billet, take it out, and give it a smash. Right on. Ah, that's hot! Oh my goodness! Here we go! And one, two... Wow, that's squishy! That is definitely stuck together. How awesome does that look? It's stuck. Your turn. Do you want to hit it with the big metal end? Okay, not the wood? No. Ready? Yep. Perfect. Woo! Nice. Hey, hey, there we go. Did it. It's stuck. That's how easy it is. What temperature do we have that at? We had that at, uh, what, like 1800 degrees, 1780 degrees? Comes right out, sticks together. No complaints. We might have to forge a ring. We might just Ooh, have to hey. forge a ring. Hey yo. Could make sense. It might, uh, I mean. So we can now use this oven to do all our heating for all the remaining forging. I'm trying to see if I can square up this billet. The trouble is, is it's trying to fall apart on me. This might not be a solid enough connection for really doing what we usually do on most of our Damascuses or what I've done on Makume in the past. Frankly, I don't know if we're gonna get anything from this. The Makume that I've made in the past, I was able to have super clean material. The quarters are not super clean and it's not perfectly flat because, you know, they're stamped and they have the, you know, positive and negative on it. So this is not as strong as I would like, and it is not doing well with being forged. So this piece isn't looking good. The piece that Will and Patrick made, however, might just be the perfect piece for making ourselves a ring. I think that's absolutely right. This thing's looking great, you know, and it's stuck together well enough like this that it's gonna hold up just fine. What do you reckon? I think we should file in a little star shape around the edges, stagger it, and then we'll have a little serpentine pattern running through. Uh, and then reforge it, you mean? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a small wheel attachment on the grinder? That'd probably be faster. Wowza. How about that? That looks cool. And that little well, pattern's amazing. But it, it's together. It was not together, and now it's together. There's still a weld flaw in there. Mm. So this is tricky stuff. This isn't super easy. We do have another 10 bucks worth of courses. I think we should just heat it up, maybe flux it a little bit, see, uh, see how it goes. If not, we can take up some more quarters. I think, we, I think it's pretty good for making a ring out of. Okay. So Patrick's piece of Makume from the quarters is cooling down, and we're gonna be able to start machining that into a ring. But what we do wanna do is we wanna see how we can actually avoid failure with the Makume. So this time, we're gonna heat it up in the forge. We'll be making up another stack and TIG welding it. But we're then gonna heat it up in the forge, and we're gonna forge it together under the power hammer. Mm -hmm. See if we can get a more solid stack. Hopefully we get a billet that we can do some more interesting pattern work on. So let's get started with all of that. We've 
forgot to turn on the forge, but at least we can try it with the power hammer. That looks so cool. That works pretty good. Can you tell what state? Oh, it's just a regular quarter. Okie dokie guys, well what we have is we have four attempts, two of which are failures, they have not stuck well enough for us, two of which are actually pretty decent, and I think are worth getting started on, putting in the lathe, and uh, so there we go, do you want to do the honors, throw it in the lathe? Alright. So Patrick, since you've made a whole load of rings, and you know your way around a different type of lathe, I mm -hmm. thought that it would be a phenomenal thing for you to do the honors on All making right. it on this beautiful piece of I American cast iron. You this up for a, it? It's a beautiful lathe, yes. Great. We just gotta hollow out the inside, get it up to size, and then we'll throw it on a ring mandrel. Shave down the outer diameter, we should be pretty close. Outstanding. That torque. You, you can really tell that it's quarters. <laughs> you can tell that it's quarters. So, we've got this other billet here. We're just gonna bore it out really quick, see what it looks like in there, and see if this is gonna be a better option. I don't think that drill bit likes that very much. I guess we're gonna just have a straight ring. All right, we've used Patrick's ring mandrel with great success Hot. in turning down this ring. This is awesome. So what we're now gonna do is we're going to make a liner to save you having the copper right on your finger. So tell me, Patrick, what is your favorite thing? Shredded cash. Wait, shredded cash? Shredded cash. That's your favorite thing? Uh, no, but it made for a good YouTube video. <gasps> so there's probably like 20K in this rod right here but you buy it from the US Mint for not $20,000. So you were able to buy bags of shredded cash. Indeed. And you got gold in it too? Indeed, gold leaf, shredded cash, resin, and it'll glow in the dark. Are you kidding? Going to bore it. Yep. Cut it off. Yep. Stick it inside the piece that we've already made, glue it, and then turn the final Shoot. inside diameter. We'll just sand it up, make it look nice, and be good to go. Perfect. Okay, so this rod, the reason I brought it, it was a failed attempt. It has some bubbles throughout it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna machine it down to the correct diameter so that the ring just fits, the uh, outer piece fits over it. Oh, and then find a good spot yes. on it. And that'll allow us, yeah, we'll cherry pick the spot that has the fewest bubbles, glue it in place, make that the ring. That is the most satisfying thing in the world. This has been a ton of fun, getting to play with new materials, try new things, 
use quarters together yeah. and learn a whole lot of your skills. Do you want to let them know about what it is you do on your channel? Um, I make rings. I make rings out of just literally every material you could ever think of, and I just try to keep things interesting with the materials like we did in this video. So that is awesome. Be sure to check out his channel, Patrick Adair Designs. And also, guys, thank you so much to our sponsor, Trade Coffee. Be sure to check out the link in the description. Thank you to them, as always. Thank you for coming up, Patrick. Yeah, of course. Ton of fun. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.